Aside from humans, in particularly your humble narrator, what primate species spends the least amount of time climbing? Gelata monkeys have, like us, adapted for a life spent mostly on the ground. This has produced some unique aspects of gelata anatomy, society, and sex. That's right, this is about monkey sex. Strap in. Many primates indicate sexual readiness with swollen red behinds. Because gelatas often sit, another method emerged. Their eye-catching chests are thought to play the same role that an attractive posterior plays for many other primate species. I say, why can't it be both? Their society is organized around a dominant male and a harem of multiple females. The female's loyalties are fickle, however, and power struggles often occur. This is essentially reality television. This is a familiar scene for geladas, a younger male challenging the incumbent alpha. Just look at the hair, you know, even when you're fighting, you gotta have that flowing mane, am I right? He's successful and wins the harem's allegiance, for now anyway. So there you have it, the gelata baboon. I'm sorry, the gelata monkey. You may see on the internet that sometimes they're called baboons. They're not true baboons. Don't leave a comment pointing that out, that we made a mistake. We know what they are. We're National Geographic. Okay, carry on. <laughs>